but I had never felt evil the way I felt it that day. Spring break came with a tragedy 30 years ago that's still fresh on the minds of some in the valley. You may remember Mark Kilroy. He was a 21-year-old University of Texas Austin student. Kilroy was abducted and murdered by a satanic drug smuggling cult in Matamoros. Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez spoke to two people tied to that tragedy. They explained how the events played out and how they still have an impact on their lives, spring break and the valley today. Mark was a real nice guy, very friendly, very outgoing, joked around, uh, was a strong Christian. Spring break is an automatic reminder of a dark time in Ryan Finley's life. My friend wasn't killed on the border, he was slaughtered. Now an advocate for tourism safety, Finley last saw his friend Mark Kilroy before a planned trip to South Padre Island for spring break. And then about 24 hours before the trip, I backed out. His nightmare started on March 14th, 1989. It was out of character. You know what I mean? You, you know, when I say out of character, it meant like Mark and I just walked off and went somewhere. That Tuesday, Mark Kilroy and his friends would go to Brownsville and walk across the border to Matamoros. They went bar hopping. This is where Mark would last be seen alive. Mark had been kidnapped right behind him. There were no witnesses. To Finley and his friends, it was like Mark vanished. Retired professor of anthropology at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, Dr. Tony Zavaleta, says a major effort was started in both the United States and Mexico to find the student. A major effort was made to locate Mark Kilroy, including uh, and, the, and the college and college students and Sarah Aldrete was a leader in posting posting his picture and, and, and messages all around town. Three weeks later, the border town of Matamoros in the Rio Grande Valley would make national headlines. On April 11th, Kilroy's body was discovered on the Santa Elena Ranch after Elio Hernandez Rivera was arrested for running a routine police roadblock. And eventually he led them. He's, he, he says, you know, I know where the, the guy you're looking for, the spring breaker, Mark Kilroy, I, I know where he is. Zavaleta says his life changed on a Tuesday at a city commissioner's meeting. And standing there in that door is George Gavito, uh, chief deputy sheriff and investigator, Sheriff Alex Perez, and uh, what appeared to me to be a Mexican federal police official. And they said, they said, we, we, we believe we've found Mark Kilroy and we don't understand completely <clears throat> what we're seeing and we need for you to come with us. Can you come with us to Matamoros? Before Sabaleta could step foot on the Santa Elena ranch, he knew it was an evil place. There was clearly a cast iron cauldron uh, in front of it with sticks sticking out of it. And I'm looking over there before I even get out and I already know what that is. Kilroy's and more than 14 other bodies would be found on the property. The professor of anthropology studied cults before, but wasn't prepared for what he was about to see. Empowered it with, with blood and uh, all manner of horrible things. There was a foreboding and the hair on my arms it just stood up and I mean, I was watching like, like, what is going on here? Evil. Kilroy's murderers were later identified as Adolfo de Jesus Constanzo and Sara Alberte, a student at Texas Southmost College in Brownsville. Exactly 30 years ago, spring of the spring semester of 1989, I was teaching a class in sociology, introduction to sociology, of about 100 students. It was a very large class. But, you know, it's pretty routine for me. And, and, one of my students in that class was Sara Aldrete. The shack and land where these grisly murders happened would be cleansed and burnt to the ground. Zavaleta says these events changed the way spring break is celebrated and travel warnings to Mexico from the Department of State are looked at. Because back in those days, in the, late, in the 80s, before 89, uh, there could be literally, literally thousands of spring breakers uh, making their way, doing the, the you know the bar bar pub crawl up and down the main drag there in Matamoros, thousands. 
but that just that dried up. I mean, even 30 years later, Zavaleta says the impact of Mark Kilroy's death is just as strong. In Brownsville, Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News, this weekend.